Hello everyone and welcome back again dear friends hope you are all doing well and hope your preparations are going well okay so make sure you will comment down how is your preparation going on are you practicing the questions or not okay so do let me know so <clears throat> today i will discuss uh, the question number 4th a which is again a joint probability distribution okay in this problem uh, one more thing is there that is correlation of x and y we have discussed how to calculate expectation and covariance okay uh, here is the new term that is correlation of x and y okay let me uh, give you the brief, brief description brief explanation about this particular question this is the probability distribution table what we are doing what is our strategy to solve this question first of all make this table again okay as it is so x mi minus 2 sorry this is here x and y okay this is x values and these are the y values okay minus 2 minus 1 4 5 minus 2 minus 1 4 5 and 1 and 2 1 and 2 okay these values as it is then what we are doing we are just doing the summation of these terms probabilities are row wise and column wise okay 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.3 is 0 0.6 okay i am calling it the f of xi okay summation of terms row wise then 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1 is equal to 0 0.4 0 point sorry this one 0 0.1 and plus 0 0.2 is equal to 0 0.3 now column wise i am doing the summation 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1 is 0 0.3 here is 0 0.1, 0 0.3. So total num uh, sorry, summation should be equal to 1. Some of all the probability probabilities should be equal to 1. Okay. So 0 0.6, 0 0.4 is equal to 1. 0 0.3 plus 0 0.3 is equal to 0 0.6. 0 0.7, 0 0.7 plus 0 0.3 is again a 1. So this is the correct box over here. Now <coughs> we have to determine the marginal probability distribution. How we are calculating the marginal distribution? First uh, we are taking the x values separately and y values separately. Then corresponding uh, f of xi and g of yi. See here 1 and 2 are the x values 1 and 2. What is the corresponding f of xi? 0 0.6, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.4, right? I hope you are following. Then yi minus 2, minus 1, 4, 5 minus 2 minus 1 4 5 then corresponding g of y i value 0 0.3 0 0.3 0 0.1 0 0.3 uh, so i am writing it over here this is the marginal distribution table then first part expectation we have to calculate of x and y so expectation of x is already equal to summation of x i f of x i so 1 into 0 0.6 plus 2 into 0 0.4 you will get expectation of x is equal to 1.4 then expectation of y is minus 2 into 0 0.3 minus 2 into 0 0.3 plus minus 1 into 0 0.3 then plus 4 into 0 0.1 4 into 0 0.1 plus 5 into 0 0.3 right so you will get expectation of y is equal to 1 then expectation of xy how we are calculating simply 1 into minus 2 into 0 0.1 1 into minus 2 into 0 0.1 plus 1 into minus 1 into 0 0.2 1 into minus 1 into 0 0.2 1 into 4 into 0 1 into 4 into 0 then 1 into 5 into 0 0.3 likewise you, we are calculating this expectation of uh, x y okay in the previous video i have explained it very well so by this much calculation you will get uh, expectation of x y is equal to 0 0.9 okay then covariance second part is we need to calculate the covariance of x comma y okay so it is always equal to expectation of xy minus expectation of x into expectation of y so expectation of xy is equal to 0 0.9 minus expectation of x uh, we have calculated 1.4 and expectation of y is 1 so 1.4 into 1 so 0 0.9 minus 1.4 is equal to minus 0 0.5 so this is your covariance value okay so in order to calculate the third part that is your uh, correlation of xy so we have to calculate first sigma x square and sigma y square then later on we can calculate the correlation so sigma x square is always equal to uh, expectation of x square minus expectation of x whole square okay so this is expectation of x square see this was simply e of x we have to take e of x square i can write down summation of x i instead of x i i can take x i square just because square is here so x i square into f of x i okay I hope you are getting minus expectation of x square as it is now uh, we have to calculate this much summation so xi is here take square one square one square into 0 0.6 okay one square into 0 0.6 plus two square into 0 0.4 so two square into 0 0.4 which is uh, sorry minus expectation of x we have already calculated as 1.4 so 1.4 whole square okay so wh while calculating this much you will get sigma x square is equal to 0 0.24 
so sigma x is equal to under root of 0 0.24 sigma x is equal to 0 0.49 okay similarly you can calculate uh, sigma y square which is again equal to uh, expectation of y square minus expectation of y whole square so expectation of y is here uh, you can take minus 2 square into 0 0.3 minus 2 square into 0 0.3 then minus 1 square into 0 0.3 minus 1 square into 0 0.3 then 4 into 0 0.1 so 4 square into 0 0.1 plus 5 square into 0 0.3 so you have to take the squares of uh, sorry y in this particular case by calculating this much you will get sigma y square is equal to 10.8 minus 1 so sigma y is equal to under root so this is sorry this is 10.6 so sigma y is equal to under root of 9.6 okay sigma y you are getting 3.1 but the thing is we are supposed to calculate the correlation okay it is uh, represented as i will write down here rho okay rho is equal to covariance of x y divided by sigma x into sigma y so what is the covariance value minus 0 0.5 so minus 0 0.5 divided by sigma x is how much 0 0.49 multiplied by sigma y is 3.1 okay so let me calculate it so this is your minus 0.5 divided by 0.49 multiplied by 3.1 which is equal to minus 0 0.32 rho is equal to minus 0 0.32 so this is the answer for the correlation of x and y okay i hope this much uh, portion is clear to you people okay so make sure you will comment down if you have some doubts okay so this is all about today's lecture thank you